Welcome to the Indiana Oversize Overweight Permitting System, also known as OSW, user tutorial videos. This video will guide you through the steps for navigating the company dashboard at this address. This and other tutorial videos can be found on the login page via the OSW user tutorial videos link. After logging into the system, the company dashboard will be displayed. Hovering over any question mark icon will display a brief explanation of the field. Clicking the icon will display the detailed help message. The company dashboard is the primary interface for OSW. The central section of the company dashboard listing the permits for your company is called the Permit Queue panel. The Permit Queue panel allows you to interact with your permits based on their status, search for permits in the queue, or create new permits. If you are a permit service, the history is separated by company in your queue. To order a new permit, click the New Permit button at the top of the Permit Queue panel. Selecting an option from the Show drop-down list will allow you to filter the content of the queue by permit status. The Search Permits button will allow you to search for the permit or filtered permit in the queue. After clicking the Search Permits button, select a search parameter from the Search By drop-down list. You can choose from options which include Permit Number or ID, Vehicle, Permit Type, Issue Date, Start Date, VIN Number, and Submitted By. Enter or select any additional search factors in the corresponding field and click the Go button. The company dashboard will display the permits that meet the search criteria. The refresh button will refresh the queue. The show records dropdown determines the number of records displayed on the dashboard. Each column can be sorted by clicking the headers. Sort the columns by permit number or ID, type, submitted date, or status. Clicking the Select link in the Action column will display several options from which to choose. The various actions available to users are dependent upon the permit type and permit status. Permits that have a status of unfinished indicate the permit order process is incomplete for a variety of reasons. Choosing the Select link in the Action column will let you resume the permit to complete it or cancel the permit if it is no longer needed. Permits that have a status of pending indicate the permit application must be processed by Indiana Motor Carrier Services or INDOT for a variety of reasons. An issued status means the permit is issued and valid. View the Permit Details page by clicking the Select link and then clicking View Permit from the options displayed. Click the Copy Permit link to start a new permit application and retain the same information. Permit information can be changed for the new permit, with the exception of permit type. For permits with an issued status, the PDF of the permit can be opened directly from the dashboard by clicking on the Permit Number hyperlink. Indoor uses several other statuses to indicate the position in the workflow for the permit application or to indicate if additional information is needed from the applicant. The Administrative panel can be accessed by clicking the Menu button located in the upper left side of the company dashboard. The Administrative panel contains several links allowing you to perform different functions regarding your company account. The Annual Permit Route link allows you to generate a suggested route for annual and 90-day permits. These routes are valid for a single day. Clicking the Home button from any screen will bring you back to your company dashboard. Access the Administrative panel again by clicking the Menu button located on the upper left side of the company dashboard. The Bridge Studies link allows users with Bridge Studies to view past and present Bridge Study information. The Bridge Study search parameters allows users to search by permits pending status, starting permit number, and starting permit ID. The Bridge Studies record found displays the Bridge Study ID, Permit ID, GVW, Approval Status, Start Date, and End Date. 
The Company Data link will display the company data screen where you can edit items such as the company phone and fax number, email address, delivery method, and vehicles if you are listed as an administrator on the account. If your user type is not an administrator, clicking on the company data link will only allow you to view your information, such as your email address and phone number. Administrator users can view company information, such as the company email address, primary delivery method, contacts, addresses, terminals, users, and vehicles. A person must be set up as a user to be able to log in to the system and order permits. Users must be set up through MCS. The Vehicles section contains all the vehicles your company has stored in the system. To edit a vehicle, select the vehicle from the drop-down list and click the Edit button. On this screen, you can change the edit number, make, year, VIN, plate, plate state, country, vehicle type, and terminal if terminals are entered. Click the Update button to update the vehicle information. You can add new vehicles by selecting the New button and entering in all required information. Click the Insert button to add the new vehicle to the inventory. Clicking the Excel icon will open an Excel file of your vehicle inventory that is stored in OSW for easy reference. There is a separate tutorial video on importing vehicles via spreadsheet located on the login page. The escrow link will allow users to view a list of recent escrow transactions and generate escrow reports for the company. There's a separate video on maintaining escrow located on the login page. The pre-trip routing link will allow users to generate a route without actually submitting an application. This feature is provided as a service for quoting loads and it's a suggestion only. The route is subject to change during the application process, depending on actual dimensions, restrictions, and other factors considered by MCS. The Reports link will allow users to view and print various reports, including the customer reconciliation, quarterly billing, or superload pre-approval reports. The Route Survey link will allow users to upload completed route survey forms, reprint route survey PDFs, and view statuses of submitted route surveys and search for past and present route surveys. There are separate tutorial videos for creating a route survey and uploading a completed route survey located on the login page. The Saved Trips link will allow users to view a list of saved trips, edit the trip name, or delete unwanted trips that have been previously saved to the company account. There is a separate video for saving a trip located on the login page. The shopping cart link will bring users to the shopping cart to locate permits pending payment and provide detailed information regarding permits available for purchase. Once a permit has been approved by MCS or NDOT or has been self-issued in OSW, the permit will be available for purchase in the shopping cart. All permits that have been issued must be purchased in OSW. If an issued permit has not been paid within 72 hours, the company's account will be locked and you will be unable to order new permits until the permit issued prior to 72 hours has been purchased. The Vehicle Import link will allow users to upload their vehicles into OSW for faster permit ordering. There are separate videos for the shopping cart and importing vehicles via spreadsheet located on the login page. The company support panel is located on the right-hand side of the company dashboard and allows the company to access functionality such as renewing the account, deferred to bond shopping cart, permit shopping cart, special weight registration, messages, statistics, and callbacks. An unpaid Deferred to Permits button will display in the Company Support panel if there are any permits that are deferred to a bond and have an outstanding balance ready to be purchased. There is a separate video for the Unpaid Deferred to Bond shopping cart located on the login page. The Special Weight Registration link allows companies to add or edit a special weight restriction. Companies are required to have a special weight registration on file to order a special weight permit. There's a separate video for the special weight registration and ordering a special weight permit located on the login page. 
The Messages panel displays any messages added by MCS. Such messages may include important announcements pertaining to the trucking industry or permitting in Indiana, as well as OSW system maintenance and scheduled downtime. The Indiana OSOWPS also has a few unique interfaces that will transfer messages to this panel, including when the company account needs to be renewed or if the company is on hold for non-payment of a permit. The Statistics panel displays basic information for your company for each day, such as the number of permits issued for your company, the number of self-issued permits for the day, and the company's bond or escrow balances. These numbers are refreshed throughout the day as permit activity continues. Permit services will be able to view all of the same statistics with the addition of how many permits were issued today for customers. The Home button at the top of the screen will always bring you back to your company dashboard from any screen throughout the system. The Help button at the top of the screen will display help information for whichever page you are on in OSW. And this concludes the OSW user tutorial video on navigating the company dashboard. Thanks for watching and don't forget more videos are always available for your convenience.